you go to Google or whatever search engine you use, you punch in Pioneer. I just punch in Pioneer head unit update. Hit enter. And then I usually, usually it's the first one. And you could do think car, marine, cycle sports, optical drives, all types of stuff. Anyway, you enter your number. Uh, is for this one is the AVH dash forty two hundred NEX. There it is. You hit find it. And two are gonna pop up: the forty two oh one and the forty two hundred. And the first thing you do is, if you click on this, you can read it. It's the upware notice letter. And always print the instructions. Fir firmware update instructions. Uh, open that up. Download it and print it. You want it in hard copy, trust me. And then over here, where you see cost, it's almost always free. Uh, I've never had to pay for one of these and uh, this is it it's update 1.07 it came out August 12 2018 this is my first time updating this radio so I heavily doubt that this update is in it and as you can see both of these are the same for the 4201 and the 4200 but you click that once you click this, you're gonna get that right there. You're gonna get a zip file. Once you get the zip file downloaded, you click, I always like to go to show and folder, and then it's gonna be right there. See the zipper on it? Ignore the one right below it, the one with the zipper on it, and then you right click, and when you right click, the option to Extract all will pop up. Hit extract all. When you get extract all, then you're gonna you're gonna open that up. This is gonna pop up. You notice there's another one, but without the zipper on it. Then you double tap on that or open whatever. This is what you're gonna see, and that's what you you want to transfer to your formatted your blank formatted. Uh, SD or USB drive. All right, you're gonna need two gigabytes or more. I usually use this eight gigabyte, and I I usually keep this on uh, drive only for updating the radios, the radio, the Pioneer that's in the Suburban and the Pioneer that's in the Armada. Again, that's the file you're gonna use to update your own uh, AVH 4200 NEX. Or 4201 NEX. So now I'm just going to transfer this to that. All right, we're in the truck, and again, this is a different radio. This is the radio that was in the Suburban. All I did, I just swapped the uh, swapped the radios over. This is the what is it? The AV. H, I think it is, yeah, AVH 4200 next. So what we're gonna do is first we wanna see what firmware we're on with this radio. So you hit the little gears, then you go to the, this right here, the tools. Then you go all the way down, I think it's to the bottom. Yep. And then you click on system information. Then you click on firmware information. Yeah, this one needs to update. Let's see if I can block the sun. All right, there we go. Can you see that? This is 1.06. The firmware will take, the update will take it to 1.07. Right, and I, I really think this needs it because um, every now and again, it, it, I'm sorry about that something about that glare 
but again it, it needs an update uh so we know that needs an update then we're gonna jump over to i'm just flipping my pages here so we're gonna hit the same thing again we're gonna check the bluetooth but you could have done it from there and then this hands are dry as heck then you scroll all the way down and then you hit on bluetooth bluetooth version information and this is 3.41.10 the update will take it to 0.13 so that needs to be updated also so I've never updated this radio so this is a first for me also so we already got the the stuff on the thumb drive and just like with the other radio just like the 5201 you can't have anything plugged up you can't have the phone nothing in the in the uh, the USB input so this has to come out Sorry, this glare is really, really bad. Give me a minute. Let me see what I could do about the glare. All right, I think I got the glare cleared up a little bit. This is the USB drive that I like to use for this purpose. And that is USB 1. I don't, with this radio, I don't know if it has to be in one or not. It doesn't say, it just said insert an SD card or a USB into the port. But I've always used one with the 5201, so I'm gonna use one with 4200. So let's get it in there. First, let's X this out. And then let's get this in here. It's plugged in then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn turn the source off so you hit your menu button and then hit this and then where it says source off right there and then let me turn this thing down it is cold and today is what the 28th of uh, March 2022 and it is cold outside here in Virginia all right that's all press the home button so we're gonna hit the home button we already got it so we're gonna hit this right here then we're gonna go to this then we're gonna go to all the way down then we're gonna hit system information and then we're gonna hit firmware update. Uh, please connect a USB flash drive or SD card containing only the correct update file. Then press continue to begin. So we're gonna, it's already inserted. So we're gonna hit continue. This is always a nerve wracking part for me because <clears throat> like most cell phones, if you mess this up, and I'm not exaggerating. If you mess this up, you can literally break the radio. Now it's reading. I'll, I'll stop this and come back when it... Actually, I'll pause it. Alright, we're back. This is what will pop up next after the... Uh, the reading please wait for a while thing this will pop up it pops up on all of these uh, pioneers so you just read it read the whole thing don't try to just 
skip through stuff. Make sure your parking brake is applied. Uh, <clears throat> if you have any of those parking parking brake bypass things, my suggestion, uh, remove it for the sake of the update. Uh, I've never used one, so I, I do not know how they will affect the, uh, the radio during the update. Uh, if someone that uses one can comment in the uh, comment section whether or not it adversely affects the update, again, you'll be helping some people out. To know that we're ready, we're going to hit start. There she goes. And it's gonna show you the percentages and all that stuff. See, version 1.6, two version one, well, 1.06, two version 1.07. Let the engine stay running. I'm not going to touch anything until it's finished. So, just like before, I'm going to stop it and then I'll come back. All right, we're back. It says update complete. Actually, it didn't take long, to be honest with you. All right, it says once the update is complete, the unit will display the update complete screen, which is that. It says press the home button, which is this right here. And the screen went black. Shoot. I was worried for a second there. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I was <laughs> I was a little concerned. Alright. Then it said, remove the SD memory card or USB storage device. The firmware update is complete. So I'm gonna do what it says. All right. Then it says, part two for updating, updating Bluetooth software procedure. Use the same update file with firmware update on unit. I'm gonna stick it back in there. Then I'm gonna go here. Then Bluetooth all the way down to the bottom. And then Bluetooth software update. Bluetooth memory will be cleared after updating the Bluetooth software. Press start to begin the update so hit start updating do not turn off the engine please honestly this part was not clear it, it wasn't as clear as updating the firmware for the for the radio itself so pioneer if you're listening updating the bluetooth uh software the instructions could have been a little bit clearer. All right, for the Bluetooth update, it took a while, and I was a little concerned because it wasn't showing the progress screen like on the firmware update. Uh, the firmware update showed a progress screen. The Bluetooth software update did not show one. It just said, uh, do not turn off engine, updating, please wait, and it took a long time. <laughs> So I was a little concerned there. Because again, you can't touch it, you can't mess with anything else, you could damage the radio. All right, it said it's completed. All right, I'm gonna look at my instructions here. Please refer to checking the firmware version and checking the Bluetooth software version to check if the firmware has been updated. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hit this, then I'm gonna hit the home button and then I'm going to remove the thumb drive and then 
first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the firmware. I'm sure it's updated, but I want her to check system information, uh, firmware information, and 1.07. I don't even need to look at the paperwork. That's updated, so we're good. So then we're gonna drop down to Bluetooth, drop down. Then we're gonna hit Bluetooth version information and 13. I think initially it was 10, so let's check. Bear with me here, I'm trying to go through my paperwork. Ah, here we go, all the way to the front, that's right. All right, there we go. So verify that the firmware version on your unit is not already 1.207. It was not, but we're there now. Verif and here we go, Bluetooth. Not already, not already 3.41.13. It wasn't, it was 0 0.10. No, it's 0.13. So everything is updated, so we're good to go. So, uh, uh, now let's bring the radio back online because source is off. So we're going to hit the home button and we're going to grab, well, I don't really, really want to play any music because if I play any music, uh, freaking YouTube, must, it, it, my video isn't monetized, but they might flag it. Like they might mute the video like they did my last one that wasn't even monetized. The one with my electric car so uh, I'm not even gonna mess with playing any music and uh, or anything like that see so it's gonna revert back to that screen this Nissan logo you can put anything you want up there Man, my hands are ashy as heck but uh <laughs> you can put anything you want up there all you do you, you take one of your thumb drives you put whatever image you want up there and you all uh, and you go from there you could do you could watch movies like this radio you hit this button right here the dvd sd all that stuff is behind the screen and if it has a lot of glare i don't know why i didn't think about this earlier if it has a lot of glare you can hit this button also that pops up and you can adjust see you can adjust it see the tilt every time you touch it see you can adjust the tilt for glare and you can bring it back down and the whole screen can pop off so if you hit this button it'll rotate out and down and the whole screen comes off for security I mean the entire thing and if you want to put an SD card in you hit that button if you want to put a DVD in you hit that button I'll show you uh, let's do DVD and there is your SD card and there is your DVD CD whatever you want to put in there it's all behind the screen once you finish once you put it in it'll close automatically or you could just hit the button and you could drop it down I'm gonna drop it back down And once it's all the way down, that will go away. Anyway, there I go rambling. I just showed you how to update your uh, Pioneer uh, freaking AVH4200 NEX or AVH4201 NEX. The update procedure is like the exact same. All right, good luck. The most important thing here, be patient with it, all right?